This video was made possible by our generous supporters on Patreon. Check out patreon.com slash nwr for all the details. Hello everyone, my name is John and I'm one of the co-founders of Angry Demon Studio. We are this close to releasing our latest game, Gory Cuddly Carnage, the 29th of August, so I hope you're all excited for that. Gory Cuddly Carnage is our latest hoverboarding skate and slash where you're a cat on a hoverboard that's fighting unicorns. Do you really need to know more? The game is like a 2000s kind of hack and slash game. You know, the ones that you used to play on the Xbox 360, the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2. You know, kind of the feeling of those old games, but in a new Unreal Engine 5 format. It plays exactly like those old games. There's a storyline. You follow that storyline from level to level. You rack up great combos. You smash down enemies and, you know, you just make a mess out of everything. We have been working, like, yeah, we've been working for about five years on Gory Cuddly Carnage now. So it's been quite the journey through thick and thin. Before this game, we made, like, serious horror games. And we kind of always wanted to like be creatively free just do whatever we want to do and after absolute end of gods which was like a great project to work with we just had so much creative energy pent up and we just unleashed it on this game where basically in the brainstorming sessions no ideas were too crazy to be pitched the inspirations for the for gory cuddly carnage uh, there's quite a few uh, the first one I would say is Airblade, an old PlayStation 2 game where you're in like basically it's kind of combat on a hoverboard and you grind stuff so it's like they kind of marry like this open world kind of thing with hoverboarding and just the just the feeling of playing that game was definitely something that we also wanted to have in our game. Uh, we also had great inspiration from Lollipop Chainsaw with, you know, the over-the-top combat and the colors and the comic book style and, and just the feeling of the game. We also took great inspiration from Alice, Manus Returns with their memorable enemies and memorable levels. Like, every time somebody talks about uh, Alice, they refer to their favorite level as, you know, the card level or the, like, feudal Japan level or whatever. It's not like level one and two. And we really wanted to have that too, so every level is memorable in that way. Uh, for the humor, we took great inspiration from Sunset Overdrive and also Borderlands, because, you know, those games are just a blast, just playing those and just listening to the, to the banter. And then we also had Devil May Cry, and as I mentioned earlier, we really took inspiration from the first Devil May Cry, and, you know, the first God of War, like the early 2000s hack and slash games, was really something that we wanted to make in like a newer package. When I do playtesting, I always try to get new combos and, you know, bigger combos. And I try to kind of push myself with the moves that we have with the super shot and stuff like that. Uh, but for the... for just how it feels and looks, like the slam wheel and the super shot, the things that really explode, those are my absolute favorites in the game. Just explosions, what can I say? The Switch version was always a part of the plan. Uh, it was something that I personally was really, really fired up about. I really wanted a Switch version version on the time of release. That was super important for me. It's like, and for everybody in the team, is that we we launch on all platforms at once. As soon as the game is out there, it needs to be available to everyone. Like that, that was a dream of ours, and that's something that we're, we're this close to accomplishing, which feels great. The Switch. Um, had its challenges, like all of the platforms, like Steam had its own challenges, like PC has challenges, like all of the platforms have different challenges. The thing is that this game is an Unreal Engine 5 game. It uses like some of the latest technology like within Unreal Engine. We're, we're five, we're a team of five, and we've managed to put this huge like 150 gigabyte project that runs like a ton of like high-end stuff. And we managed to get this into this handheld console. So anybody can enjoy it on the train or wherever they want. And that's something that I'm really proud of. 
But the second thing that I'm really proud of is how we integrated like the amazing features of the Switch, like the motion control. Like uh, it's just like you know being able to aim with with the console itself or the controller. It's just made the Joy Cons are really really cool in that way. Thank you so much for checking out Gory Cuddly Carnage. I hope you will enjoy it on the Switch the 29th of August. Thank you.